So we're going to go ahead and mark our holes. Now this process isn't totally mandatory. I mean, you can you can take the screws that you have and you can just go ahead and drive them in. But I'm going to give I'm going to make some starter holes. I think that's a, a better way of doing it. So I'm just going to take a small bit like that. You want to do a little bit of pecking so you can. And now that you have the two holes, now we're ready to go ahead and mount it. Just these little screws. You may have screws that are a little longer that come with yours. Now this is secure. We can go ahead and add the V-groove bearings on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and put in the cross dowel and one and a half inch screw for the, uh, the adjusting of the bearings for the X and, y, uh, and Z plate. And just like last time, you don't want to go all the way through, get it to a certain point. Just lay this stuff down there, never find it. Now we're going to put on the 3 8 inch screw, bearing, thin washer, and washer. We'll do that to both sides. And on the other side, we'll put on a washer and 3 8 nut. Tighten it snugly with your fingers. And like the other one, just move it back as far as you can. Now we're going to put the other um, bearing bearings over here, the same thing. 3 8 inch screw, bearing, thin washer, large washer. And then only a nut on either side because this one doesn't adjust. And you can go ahead and tighten this up all the way. And on the other side, do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Okay, now we can get it onto the, um, the gantry bridge. Okay, orient the, uh, the assembly we've just made in this direction. You can see there's a lip here and the A-axis motor will be in this direction. Yeah. Align the big roof bearings along the rails and the back ones. And once you have it on, you'll want to adjust it so there's not going to be any rattling. And you want to do it to the point where it's, you can feel a tiny bit of resistance, but not much. It's pretty good. And like the other one, we're going to try to allow the rails to get, to get even. resistance on this side so I may want to loosen this up just a tiny bit and then tighten it okay that's better now tighten all of them to its final tightness okay. test the motion all the way across should be pretty smooth. Okay, good. Now we're ready to install the uh, the x-axis, this axis here, a timing belt. So we're gonna add these, these pieces. And you'll see that we can actually maneuver them a little bit. Alright, we need these two pieces uh, for this particular part of the assembly. You'll notice that you'll have two of these and you'll see the shape is a little different. There's a little bit more material on this side. That's so uh, when we um, Bring the um, when we bring the timing belt in, it's going to, to loop up into this area, so it's going to be flush against this. On the other side, it's going to loop up on the top, so it's flush against the top. So let's go ahead and put this one on. This one is the one with the most material, and it's going to go on this side of the machine. We're looking at the back of the machine and the back of the of this um, mechanism here. You're going to need two um, one and a half inch screws and two cross dowels. Tighten it to a point where it's still move it, but it's pretty snug. And we're going to be putting this on with two inch screws, starting from the back, and just loosely put it in because we still have to put in, we still have to put the timing belt through this, these two pieces. So just keep this loose for now. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So 
two inch screws, two nuts, quarter inch nuts. Okay, now we're ready to put on the timing belt for the x-axis. All right, here's the timing belt. It'll be the shorter of the two. And we're gonna first bring the timing belt into this location here. Take your finger and then bring it down underneath. So you're, you're essentially gonna wrap it around the timing pulley or the, uh, the drive pulley. And you're gonna take this one, wrap it around the back. And then they're going to be tied on both ends like this. So I'm gonna put in this end first, give it a little bit of slack, and then the other end will tighten it all the way. While we do this, we want to make sure that it's aligned properly. So you want to use your eye. It's a little low, so we want to bring it up a little bit. You can also bring this towards it to get a better alignment. And also bring it all the way close to get a good alignment for this piece going back and forth as well. So we got that. That's pretty good. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and make this pretty tight. And then I'm going to make sure the alignment for this is good. And tighten this piece. Okay, so this is tight, and then we want to make sure that these screws are securely, very securely fastened. Now we're going to go to the other side. And we're going to do the same thing. We are going to take this all the way. This time we're going to really need to tighten it. But first we want to tighten this piece um, to align it properly. So you're, you're going to take the needle and those pliers and you're going to use the wood as a way to really tension this. Bring it in and you want it to be as tight as possible. Making sure that you still have good alignment. Okay, good. Alright, so this is really, really tight. You want it to be as tight as you can get it. 